The project I'm working on uh, right now is to build a two meter. I've got a small TYT radio, it's two 440. So what I wanted to do was, was build a portable kit for it. So I've got part of this already done so I can kind of show you where I was going with it. However, the basic layout is this. So we have the TYT radio. It's gonna be mounted in the can right here. There's a battery. This is a, a Miati six amp hour. Fits in the, in the can fairly well. And for this radio, it'll run this radio for hours and hours. The wiring harness is here and I've already actually wired most of this together. And then what I used are these little connectors here. These are used for AC wiring usually in place of wire nuts. And these are called uh, Wagyu connectors, I believe. I will check that and, uh, and put it, the right name of it in the notes. But uh, you basically just stick the wire in and then clamp that little plastic tab down and it bites into the wire and holds it firm. So I end up not having to worry about trying to wire nut together four or five or six wires. My goal with this was to minimize the number of holes also I put through the can. I've got two holes here for the radio mount. There was no way to get around that. And then of course I'm gonna have holes for PowerPoint and the USB charger and uh, the antenna connector and all that also on the side power switch. Power switch is gonna go there. That is two power pole connectors right there. The on off switch, and we'll talk more about that in a second, is gonna go right there. And then this is the, uh, that hole is for the uh, USB connection. I don't have a really awesome meter set up for this can because of the size of the can and, and there's not a lot of places to mount things. I decided to, to go with a, a different plan on, on how to put a meter in it. And I'll show you that too in a second. So the way I'm gonna wire this is a little different. One of these connectors, one of these sets of connectors will be 12 volt switched, will actually be on all the time rather. And then the other connector will be switched based on the power switch. One set of connectors, probably the bottom set will be hot all the time. And then I can use that to plug in my solar panel to recharge the battery. Both of the solar panels that I have are uh, have a charge controller with them. So I don't need to put a separate charge controller in this device. So one of these, like I said, probably this one will be hot straight to the battery all the time. So I could plug in something outside the can if I wanted to and use it kind of as a battery box without turning everything else on uh, via the switch. The other set of power poles will be switched. The switch controls all the power to the can for everything except that one set of power pole connectors. And that's so that the ammeter is not running all the time draining the battery or the USB plugs are not hot all the time draining the battery. All right. And then, of course, then the antenna connector. My plan after I get the radio and the battery in there and start pulling wires around. And again, this is just the raw wiring harness. Unfortunately, there's just not enough room in here or a really good place to set an ammeter to mount it short of cutting a, a large hole in the side of the can. And I didn't want to do that. So this is gonna be double-sided taped or, or fastened in some way right in here. So the battery will be behind that, the radio will be right here, and then this will be right here in the front. And again, that's why I have the switch because I didn't want this thing to be on all the time. So this gets no power and the battery will not run down by keeping everything on, obviously, unless the switch is on. Then after that's all wired in and everything's sitting in place, the other thing I have is a small remote speaker. And I, this is like a CB speaker or something. And this is just gonna fit in there. This will be plugged into the back of the radio. I may put a jumper on it. It's just a matter of taking this, uh, the radio, and back here on the back is where the uh, speaker connection goes. I had to use a right angle uh, antenna connector because there's not gonna be enough room forward and backward to get a straight in one in there. And uh, as, it work, as it works out, it looks like it's going to fit perfectly with the lid shut. Obviously, you can't operate it that way, but for portability, it's pretty good. And then I'm going to get this put together. All right, guys, I got everything put together and wired up. Good to go. So I have a 50 caliber ammo can here that I've got set up as a uh, two meter. We've got on this side two power pole connectors. One of these is always hot and one of these is switched. With the always hot one, I can use it to run something else off of without powering up everything else. I can also connect the solar panel to that and charge the whole unit off of that or off of its AC power to charge the battery inside the unit. 
And of course I got a switch. And then I've got a USB charger, a USB uh, 2.0 and a USB 3.0 quick charge. So I can charge phones or, or whatever I need to that way. So the way that this is gonna work is like this. You would open this up, you have everything inside ready to go. The only problem that I've that I've got at this point is, and I, I can't fix it with this can, the radio is a little too long to get pushed back far enough where I can keep the mic plugged in. The connector with the with the microphone attached to the connector, I can't close the lid on the can. So that's the only thing that's really not go ready on this. Other than that, just push the mic in and screw the connector down and we're good to go. Reach over here and turn everything on. And then that powers the radio up. I have the speaker wired in. It just sits in the can. And when I want to use this, I can just set the speaker, you know, on top of the thing over on the side. Because this is nice and uh, magnetic, I can put a mag mount 2 meter 440 antenna on top of it and just set it right there and you have a complete two meter setup. I'm using this PowerWorks uh, meter right here. Put this in at a little bit of a tilt angle so that it's easier to read underneath the radio. But that's pretty much it. It's good to go at this point. All right, so here's a view of uh, stand the can standing up. No judging about the wiring. It's basically in the can and never gets messed with. By the way, the connectors that I talked about are called Wago connectors. Wago, W-A-G-O, and you can get those at any big box hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, and simply put everything back inside the can with our microphone. And put the lid back on and close it up and we're good to go. Appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, click like, click subscribe. Give me that big thumbs up. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when I post any new videos. Time 73.